In today's video, we're gonna create this product animation video and we're gonna use Canva to do it. So let's get into it. So I've imagined that we're gonna create this ad to promote a new line of apparel. So the first thing that I did was create all of these t-shirt designs with Canva and all of these are now available on my Canva profile. You can check them out at the link in the description. And once I was ready, I downloaded each of these as a PNG with a transparent background by going to share, download, PNG and selecting transparent background. And then from the Canva homepage, we're gonna click on apps and scroll down to mockups. And what I'm looking for here is the apparel category. So I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna to go to t-shirts. So I open up the mockup and then click on select and you can either upload your designs here or if they're already uploaded somewhere in your Canva library, then they're gonna show up right here. So I'll just scroll down to my design, this one right here and we'll click on select. And now you can see that it's been added. And then of course you can adjust that if you'd like by going to adjust image. And I think I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more and then click on save. So I'm gonna just save this mock-up and then I'm gonna do the same thing for all of my other t-shirt designs. Next up, we'll create a new design and make it a video. So I'm gonna go to create a design and we'll choose video. And I just wanna do a 1920 by 1080 for this ad. And then I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side in the object panel, click on apps, and we're gonna search for mockups. So we're looking for this one right here. And I wanna use the video mockup. So I'm gonna click on see all so I can see everything here. And for the first slide, I know that I want to use a phone. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find this one right here and just click on that and add it in here. So I'm gonna add the mockup by just clicking and dragging and it's gonna automatically apply to the video mockup. Now, currently there are no video mockups that have no background or the ability to change the background. So I like to choose one that just has a blank background like this and I want this off to the side and I know that I'm gonna place text right here. So I'm gonna select the background and change the background color. I'll click on this plus icon right here and go to the eyedropper tool. And I just wanna grab the same color as the background so that it kind of blends in. So now when we hit play, it's a little bit like that. Wow. All right, so let's add in some text and we'll just say, snag our new tees. And I'm gonna animate this headline by selecting it and going to animate. And I'm looking for clarify right here. And then if you're on the pro version of Canva, you can increase or decrease the speed. So I'm gonna actually bring it up just a little bit. Let's see how that goes. All right, so it's looking pretty good. So it's time for our second slide. So we're just gonna click right here to add a new page. And I wanna add in a transition. So I'm just gonna hover in between here and click on the add transition button. And I wanna add in flow because I wanna make it look like all the elements are just kind of floating and flying away and then we'll go ahead and build out the scene for our second slide. So I'm gonna head back to apps and look through the mockups here. And what I'm looking for this time is just a laptop with the blank background. I like this one right here with the shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one in. For a laptop, maybe you could use like your website or a screenshot of a landing page or something like that. So we'll position this here and I'm gonna duplicate that and we'll add in our other image and we'll do the same thing for our third laptop and we'll resize these. And for each of these, you may have to adjust the background color again using that eyedropper tool trick to make sure that the background matches the video mockup background. Now, if you get really annoyed that your background color isn't perfectly matching the background of the video mockup, then you could use video mockups like these where you don't have to change the background at all. If you're not happy with the timing of your elements, how they're entering and exiting, then you can always change that by selecting your element, clicking on the three dots, and then go to show timing. And you'll be able to adjust the timing from here by dragging the front or the back. Once you're happy with everything and you're ready to download it, then go up to share and click on download. Make sure that it's an MP4 video and you can always adjust it to be 4K quality if you're on Canva Pro. And then simply hit download. Be sure to like this video if it helped you in any way. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.